Hey chums, and welcome to another Let's Play with me, RC, here on Video Chums. Today, we're going to be playing a bit of Shock Rods. Now, as far as I know, this is the first or one of the first games actually published by Green Man Gaming. And Green Man Gaming has been a uh, PC key seller for quite some time now. I know that I've used them in the past myself, so I was actually surprised to see that they're coming out with their own line of games, and this seems to be the first. Um, I actually already played one round of this fairly quickly because I wanted to get an idea of what we're to expect here. Um, I don't know if you guys have played Quake 3, Unreal Tournament, that kind of thing. Uh, this is arena combat with cars, and it feels very fast and very fluent, very much like a, a Quake 3 or Unreal Tournament. Um, it's actually quite a bit of fun, I gotta say. Uh, this is the beta that we're playing here. Uh, this is only going on for, I think, like four or five days here. I have actually not been able to... Uh, connect to a game. Uh, so we're going to actually try to connect here and we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll, we'll hopefully get into one. The game that I played was actually with the uh, AI. Hey, look at that. We did find a match. Great. Uh, but er earlier I tried for maybe like, I don't know, 20 minutes and I was not able to get into one. So I gave up and try with the AI. So I'm glad that we can actually jump into the game here. Uh, so yeah, you play as this car. You jump around, you strafe around just like you would in a normal FPS game, except you're in a car. And you can collect weapons and switch to said weapons. You could, So you could shoot grenades. You shoot a uh, machine gun. You got like a cool shotgun here, which is pretty sweet. Of course, you could jump. You get boost. Uh, you hit shift. You can boost. Uh, it's, I mean, like I said, it's... Uh, Unreal Tournament or Quake 3 with cars. That is really what it is. It's Rocket League meets Quake 3, I guess is what you could think of it as. Uh, but it's it's quite a cool game. Um, it matched me into the game, but nobody's actually here. So this is how the games usually go, is that they'll put you into a warm-up. So that's, I guess, one of the perplexing things here is that this is a beta, so I guess there's only going to be so many people playing or, or, or what, I'm not really sure. Uh, let's actually quit out of this. Let's see if we can connect to maybe a different one here. Because that was interesting. It actually connected us to a game fairly quickly, but nobody was in the game. So, I don't know. Uh, but I at least got to show you what the game looks like, which is pretty cool. You also have the chance to switch between cars, too. I've been using the Shark. I think it's a pretty cool looking car. But you also have the Dreadnought. And you have the Mule. Uh, the Mule's got a pretty cool look, too. But I, I like the Shark one the most. Uh, so we're going to stick with that. Of course, I've, I've made it basically like a green machine, but you can go in here and you can change up the colors however you want. So if you want it to have some blue mixed in there, which actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, if you want to do a two-tone blue type of thing like that, that's that's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, you can switch up the color of the tires as well. I mean, you could, you could do all kinds of little things here. I haven't gotten too much into the patterns or anything here, uh, but you can also add in some crazy pattern stuff too if you'd like there you go and fade in like a completely crazy color combination here you can do black or white there we go there we go. pink color a dark blue that looks pretty cool so I think we'll stick with that maybe we'll add some effects in here later so you can change what your boost looks like I'm always uh, partial to green so I think I'm gonna go with that cool green explosion you do have taunts too which I did not mess with. Wow, that is a long, <laughs> that is a long fart talk for sure. Long burp, blurble, trumpet. To Actually, this might be the best, <laughs> might be the best part of the game. You basically have like a morning radio DJ like uh, <laughs> voice box here. Ridiculous. Uh, we're gonna stick with none on that, I think. Uh, okay, as you can see, yeah, we, we're still not able to connect into a game. Let's try the European server here. See if we can actually get into a game. There we go. We found one. Okay, let's hope this is a real game. This is this one is not a real game. Then we'll just make one with the bot so I could at least show you guys the gameplay here. Okay, so this is Capture the Flag. Okay, good. We got into like a full game. There's bots, but there are some real people too, so I'm happy about that. Alright, so... You can see we're actually joining a game that's in progress, and that's probably how we were able to get in. I actually haven't had the chance to play Capture the Flag yet. Shoot this guy. Right, boost over this way. 
Oop, nope, I want that. Oh, he got me. Bot Bailey got me. Flag return. Okay, respawn. All right, let's see if we can get some flag action going on here. So what I actually really like about this game is that this is a game that I have dreamt about since I was a kid. Like ever since I played Mario Kart the first time, I had the idea of like, oh my god, it would be so cool to have online Mario Kart and actually be able... Oh wow, you can actually put a barricade there too, that's pretty sweet. Where's the flag? Okay, we returned the flag just now, okay. Uh, but I, I have dreamed of having a multiplayer car game. Uh, Rocket League was one of them where I was like, oh my god, it'd be so cool to have a car game where you can play sports. But now we finally have a car game that is combat. And I am just like over the moon about that. Especially if this turns out to be like a cool game. Shoot that guy in midair. There we go. I was able to get that guy out of midair. That was a good shot. There's another one. Double kill. We're only killing bots though. Don't be too impressed, people. Oh no, don't fall down the hill! Or, ah! Don't fall down the, the, the abyss there. That's no good. Alright, so we're getting the red flag. Our team is. Pick this guy up here. I'm gonna get to our red flag friend here. Just over here, grab some armor. You can now, the, the one thing uh, that you can hear is you can hear the little beeps. You guys remember that from Quake 3 or even Quake Champions? They added the little little loop to let you know that you hit somebody, which is kind of great. There's another kill for me. Take it. Blue flag return. Blue flag taken. Blue flag return. Blue flag taken. Oh, jeez. I uh, haven't played this map before, so I keep uh, falling down the hole there. Where am I at on there? Right, the, right smack dab in the middle, so I'm not doing too bad. As long as I'm at the bottom, I don't care. Boy, this guy would not be running towards his, uh, his base quicker. He's beyond me. Alright, dude, you gotta cap that. Go. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, cover you here. We'll escort this guy back to our flag for a cap. Go! What are you doing? Must be a bot, doesn't know what he's doing. One minute. There we go, there's the cap. We got one minute to tr try and tie it up. I don't know if that's gonna be possible, but we can give it a shot. Red flag taken. Okay, we got the red flag, so that's great. Nope, miss. Hit it with the railgun. There it is. Getting pretty good with the railgun shots. That's a few people up in the air I got. Switch. Take that guy out. There it is. Two kills for me. Where is our blue flag? Someone's already got it. Blue flag returned. Oh, no, blue flag returned. Come on, get back here with the red flag. Ten seconds to go. We can tie this up and go into overtime. Five, four, three, two, uh, not gonna happen. I got a killing spree right before we ended, though. That's pretty satisfying. And you do earn XP, which is nice. Uh, I don't know how much that is going to come into play, considering this is a beta. Uh, but uh, whatever, doesn't bother me too much. Uh, but as you can already tell, pretty fun. Pretty fun game, actually. Let's check out the, the map vote. So, okay, so you have the, the choice between the Lava Pit DM, which is what I play with the bots. Uh, you can do the Cliff Falls CTF, which we just did. I say we do the Ball Game Arena because I have not done that yet. Let's check it out. I do like that they've already added in several different modes to the game, even for just a beta. It's pretty smart. And we are currently in the warm-up. Uh, no one really joined us, did they? We only got four people in the game. See, there's your beeps, your Quake 3 beeps. There we go. Yeah, it's 
seems to be joining us either. Oh well, what can you do? Wow, the grenade is hard to hit people with. It's good to like throw it in the general vicinity of somebody, but overall. Alright, this is a two on two, so we'll, we'll just see how this is actually going to go. Here we go. Oh, there we go. It just fills it with bots, I see. Okay. So the other game was probably two on two, just with a ton of bots. Alright, so there's the ball. Oh, so you actually carry the ball. I thought this was going to be like a rocket league type of situation. Where is the ball? Oh, jeez. I'm almost dead. I'm dead. Okay. I'm focusing on the ball instead of... I think we got a goal. I heard a ding, ding, ding. Red team has the ball. Okay, red team has the ball. Oh, there, there's the ball. Double damage. Where are you? Come here. There we go. There's a nice kill. All right. So how does the, the ball game actually work? Ball reset, okay. Get the ball. Oh, the, the goal is up there. Did I make it? No, you got, okay, so you gotta shoot it up there. I actually almost had a goal right there. So you actually carry the ball around and then you can pass it or you can try to shoot it up in the goal. So that's pretty cool. It's, it's Rocket League. Uh, without the soccer aspect of it. It's more like, you know, American football, if you want to look at it that way. Where is the ball at? Is it still back here and no one got it? Huh. Interesting. Switch. There we go. Red team, get out of here. Oh, I just missed it. I thought I had the goal right there. Yeah, I got it back. There it is. I got the goal, people. Not too bad. So, let's see. One point for me. No one else has gotten anything. I would say that's a pretty good round. Red team has the ball. Oh, he may have... Oh, it was close. But I'm going to get over here and get it myself. Blue team has the ball. We're, we're just going to clear that thing. Because why not? Ah, I got a kill right as he killed me there. See, so yeah, like I was saying, though, I, I'm not really making that up. I used to dream as a kid that we would have, like, really fun car games like this. Back when Mario Kart was first released, I know that nowadays it's very quaint to think about it uh, because, you know, it, it actually exists as a real thing. Uh, but online Mario Kart Battle was something I wanted so bad back in, like, the SNES and the Nintendo 64 days. Um, maybe not so much SNES because I don't think that that was really a thing we knew about. I guess with Doom and, and Quake somewhat, but I think Mario Kart came out a little earlier than that. Hey, look, I got a little, little tractor now. That's pretty fun. All kinds of different abilities. But anyway, yeah, at least during the 64 era, uh, when Quake was like such a big thing for me, playing online and stuff, I always was like, man, it'd be so cool to have like a car game that's like Quake, and here we are. <laughs> it's only taken 20 some years, but we got it. I will say that one thing with this game is that I feel like it really needs to be better about telling you where the ball is at. That's one thing that Rocket League does really well is it always has an outline for the ball to let you know where you need to go. And this this round does or this uh, mode doesn't really seem to do much of that for you, which is a little frustrating when you're trying to figure out where the ball is at. 
Red team has the ball. Oh, jeez. He jumped over. There's the, the ball right there. Got to kill in midair again. Get okay with those midair mid kills. Oh, jeez. That guy just ate it right there. Where'd the ball go? Did it explode? That's what it looks like. Yeah, I hope a game like this actually takes off, though, because I, I felt the same way last year about uh, a certain game that came out called Laser League. Uh, I was super into that. It was very, like, much a three-on-three uh, -three arcade style um, game where, like, the whole idea was, like, last man standing. And it was a really fun game, and I don't believe that it has any kind of audience at this point, which is, makes me kind of sad because it's such a good game. Oh, he's going in for it. Take him out! Don't let him shoot it. Oh, he got you guys let him in. You guys let him in. Alright, it's one to one now. Really hard to score in this game, it would seem, wouldn't it? But pretty fun. Definitely fun. Okay, we got the ball. Nice shot. Deflected. We got the ball again. Nice shot. You guys are getting the point. We're get, yeah, getting the point of this game. I, oh! I had the ball for a split second, was gonna shoot again. Get another point. Yeah, I wonder, any of you guys out there, has there ever been a game that you dreamed about having and then it finally came along sometime in the future? I'm always amazed by that. Uh, nowadays, I feel like indie developers and stuff really come up with like, great games. Sometimes they're games you wish you had, you didn't even know you wish you wanted them, you know? Uh, you're like, oh my god, this is something I've always wanted, you know? Um, this is something I've always thought about, though. Hey, blue sword. Okay, we're doing all right. This mode is fun, but it's just very, very frantic and almost like feels very unorganizing. If you play Rocket League, even like a four-on-four -four game, it feels much more organized than this. Like everyone's just shooting all over the place, and it can be really hard to see what is going on, especially considering there's no. Red team has the ball. Okay. There's no outline on the ball until someone actually has it, which I think is a big mistake. He's got the tracker thing. Now you go down, dude. Wow, he scored from way back there. That was not not too shabby right there. Not too shabby. I thought we were gonna take him out, but my I have had like nothing left in weapons there. I need to... They put all these weapons up on these, like, really tall platforms, but they're hard to get up there. Oh, this guy's trying to do it again. Oh, he stole it from me as I tried to shoot it away. That was a good little move. Gotta hand it to him. Okay, we got the ball. See you later, Red. I like that the double damage is in the middle there, though. That, that is cool. But of course, you gotta remember, this is a beta, too. If any, everything isn't perfect, it's no big deal. This is supposed to be coming out in early access later this year. I think in the summertime or something like that. Um, or maybe that's the, the actual release date of it. I'm not really sure. I know that you can you can actually get a copy of it now if this looks like something you really want to play. I might have got another one right there. Nope. Couldn't quite pull it off. But yeah, they're, they're still working out the kinks in this game, basically. But, like I said, I gotta say, it looks good, it plays well. It's got some kinks and some gameplay mode stuff to figure out. Just just some quality of life stuff, you know? Wow, we took the lead in the last minute there. That's not too shabby. But really, though, I mean, if that if that's the biggest thing you have to complain about is some quality of life stuff with the game, a lot of times it's not really that big a deal. Okay, we got, we got that. I think the weapons in this map need to be, like, evaluated a bit more as to like where they should go and that kind of thing. Though I guess I haven't really fully explored here a whole lot. 30 seconds remaining. Oh, here comes the red guy. 
Oh, he's going for the shot. Denied. I gotta grab this, though. Boost! I'm just clearing it. That's it. That's all we're doing. I just want it out of here so we can win. Clear that ball. But yeah, I really like the feel of this game. I like the explosions. Uh, oh, look at that. We're gonna hit level two now. We, we got some, like, CC coins, whatever that means. We'll play one more round here, too, so you guys can see the, the craziness of the deathmatch here. Yeah, we'll just do we'll just do a DM here. Maybe more, more real people will actually join us in. Um, but yeah, this is, this is really cool for just a beta. And the way it's all put together and everything, I gotta say, guys, like, it feels really good if you're used to uh, arena shooters and that kind of thing. Quake, Unreal Tournament. I feel like this is a game you're really gonna dig. It's, you can tell it's it's all about the gameplay. It's not so much, um, doesn't feel like the, the progress stuff is like a big important piece of the game. It just feels like they really wanted this to feel fast, frantic, and, and fun. And that's what it is. It's just a, a simple, fun, silly car game. And I feel like they did a really good job with this so far. Uh, very much looking forward to seeing what they're gonna do within the future, like what the future modes are, that kind of thing. Um, that'd be really cool to see what, what, what they have up their sleeves for. But, in the meantime, three maps with the three rounds they have so far. Five, Pretty four, fun. Alright, warm up is over. Now it's time to start the real game. Let's do this. Okay, I got the grenade thing, which kind of sucks, but we'll try to get some kills on it. Was not able to get a kill with it. Not even on the bot. This gun, the shotgun, I used this one earlier on the bot, so I was just having a ball with it. It's pretty fun. Oh, nope, it switched over to the rocket launcher, didn't it? Alright, let's, let's try using the uh, shotgun here. I'm going to try this one out. Nope, it keeps switching me. I keep picking up guns, and they keep switching me. There we go. That gun is super powerful. If you get close enough to somebody, you can really wreck somebody. There we go. We got some good kills here. Yeah, the um, the quality of life stuff that I want in this game though is like when you when you get a new weapon, I want it to be obvious that you just picked up a new weapon. I want it to be. Um, louder and more in your face about abilities that you're picking up uh, let you know that you have certain things you know that that kind of thing I, I feel like that's what it needs uh, because I, I feel like as of right now it just doesn't do a very good job of that um, and like I said that's, that's something they could probably fix pretty easily and of course I'm never hey, I actually got a kill with the main line that's surprising um, I'm never a big fan of when the screen goes dark when you're dying. It really takes me out out, out of the game to try and figure out where I am, where, uh, where I'm at, what I'm doing. So that's something I would like for the ability to turn off if I have that ability. That would be nice. Get back here. Kill. I told you the shotgun is powerful. There's another one. Took the lead. Oh, he got me. Took the lead, though. Not too bad. All right, let's grab this guy here. Let's go do some damage. Uh, one of the other things I do like about this game is that you can actually control your boost in midair. So if you jump and you want to go a different direction with it, you can. So jump. Actually, I haven't been up here yet. This is kind of cool. Lost the lead. Yeah, I lost the lead, but it's because I'm kind of playing around here. Okay, we'll throw that. Taking hey, look at that. Guess I'm from far. Who else? Who else wants some? 
Uh, but yeah, I, uh... So you, I, I, I apologize, guys. I'm losing my train of thought here, trying to keep up with everybody. Um... I was, I was talking about something different, but I want to go back to the, uh, uh... thing I was talking about with the quality of life issues and stuff with the game. Um... Oh, man. Back up. Switch guns. There we go. Got a lot of good damage on that guy. Where are you? Where'd you go? Throw it quick! Ah, he got me! And he taunted me! What a jerk! Uh, but quite honestly, if they, if they kind of, like, fix up a few of the things we were just talking about, you know, the small, small quality of life issues there, that was a really good grenade kill on my part. Maybe I'm getting better with it. Uh, because there really isn't a lot. A lot of it is like more like feel of the game, tactile feel of the game, if that makes sense. I'll just take that guy out real quick, stupid bot. But if they button that up, I, could, I really feel like this game could be a real strong online contender. Oh, by the way, the boost thing that I was talking about, I want to show that up. There we go, there's another kill for me. All right, so we'll boost backwards. You see it slows you down just a little bit there, which is kind of nice. If you jump up in the air and boost sideways, which I'll do in a second. There, you can see it actually takes you over sideways a little bit, which is kind of cool. You can pretty much change your direction. Oh, jeez, I'm getting it. Oh, it's right here. There it is. And then I think he killed himself. Not a smart way to go out, man. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, this is the, the minigun here. I like this. You don't want to go in the middle there, by the way. That lava will kill you, like, instantly. Oh, I lost my minigun. There we go. That's one. Already out of minigun ammo. That was quick. But we blew that guy up. At least I thought I did, so I think somebody else got it. Somebody stole my kill. There's some health. I want that. That's mine. I'm taking my stuff. Why I oughta. Alright, we're gonna go. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep up with that. No! Uh, the boost, especially though, if you're going forward and jump, it will boost you forward quite a bit, which is really nice. Super weak gun, but I got a double kill right there. That's something. I would like this, please, and thank you. Oh, boost out of there. There we go. Oh no, killed yourself. No. Oh, that guy just got picked on. Picked on big time. Where are you going? Where are you going? Nowhere. That's where. Alright, we got the grenade launcher. Let's use these grenades up. So, what, what's really interesting about this game, though, and this is great, by the way. I got fourth there. That's not bad for me. Um, or, or, we'll return to lobby here. But what's really interesting about this game is it really... Not, I, I know I've talked about Quake and Unreal Tournament and stuff like that uh, during this video quite a bit. Uh, but I gotta say that this game really reminds me of, like, a mod that someone would have created for an old-school FPS, like, back in the day. Uh, you know, for, the, for those of you who aren't brushed up on it, basically what would happen in the 90s is that, um, you know, the late 90s, people played a lot of Quake or Unreal or whatever. People would actually create their own mods to modify the game back then and completely change it. That's how we got Team Fortress and that kind of thing. And this feels like someone modified, you know, the Quake engine 
<laughs> came out with a new mod and said, boom, here's cars and weapons and stuff like that, because the gameplay, the feel, uh, and everything of it, it feels very, very quake, but in cars. Uh, and I think they've accomplished that very, very well, uh, to the point where, like, I'm, I'm having more fun with this in the short time that I've been playing it than I feel like I've had with, like, Quake Champions, for example. Like, Quake Champions is a fun, a fun game. I do like it, don't get me wrong. But this feels more like Quake than that does. And I don't know if it's a speed thing, I'm not sure, but it's a lot of fun. And I, I definitely recommend you guys try it if you are into that kind of arena-style, FPS-style shooting game, because it offers a lot of different modes in there already. Capture the flag, deathmatch, and the, uh, the ball game, which definitely needs a little bit of tweaking and, and stuff. But, uh, and the whole game itself needs a little bit of tweaking here and there. Um, but for a beta, this feels, like, remarkably finished. Like, this feels better than a lot of early access stuff that is available now. Believe me, I play a lot of it. This feels a lot better than a lot of early access beta stuff that I have played in the past. So it's, it's very, very good, and I definitely recommend checking it out if you guys are into that style of game. I uh, want to remind you guys, don't forget to subscribe to us here at Video Chunks because we come out with videos like this and gameplay videos all week long. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my own personal channel, which is youtube.com slash watchggrc, because I uh, do all kinds of other types of videos. I do vlogs, I do reviews, and, uh, you know, other little things sprinkled in as well. Uh, but there you go, chums. I'll see you all next time.